Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Melinda's Part Hot two. Sauce. I like Melinda's Hot Sauce because they prioritize flavor over spice. That being said, they have pretty oh. hot varieties as well. Right now, they have these variety packs where you can get mini bottles of 10 different flavors to try. I shall call Shirley. Him mini me. Head to melindas.com. Surely this will be the one where he gets get the get hot one, right? All right, let's kick it off with our roll for bread. That looks Five, good, though. cinnamon. This cinnamon swirl bread may look like cinnamon raisin bread, but those are actually pockets of pure cinnamon. Let's roll for our main. Raisinless cinnamon bread? Yo, Seven, that sounds good. beef. You know, corned beef has nothing to do with corn. The name comes from the salt curing process, which uses large, coarse grains of salt called corns. Next up, let's roll for our cheese. Four, Swiss. Why, yes, I did play Ultimate Frisbee in college. Next up, let's roll for roughage. One banana and four figs. All right, so the combination of fig and banana will add some sweetness. And really, really, really quick, um, probably kind of annoying fun fact. Uh, my high school was like the best team in the state for ultimate frisbee and it wasn't even close like they literally won all four years the four years i went there um and i remember they used to get really really mad because uh, it was mostly known as a football school and people would they'd be like we win every championship why does nobody ever care about our sport like why does nobody watch it why does nobody show up but like they sell out every football game even if they didn't you know uh uh, didn't win anything, which, to be fair, the f couple years I was there, there was a bit of a drought because of mer various, various reasons. God, that's such a long story. We were f***ed. We literally lost every running back we had. Literally all of them. Every f***ing running back we had, we lost. Either to ACL, broken ankle, sprained ankle, high ankle sprain. That He ended up playing that guy. But, like, God, we were f***ed. Uh, either way, though, yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> it was actually really f funny because, uh, a lot of times, like, you know, the discourse is like, oh, like, you know, you, they don't even win anything. And, you know, but we win everything. And then some, I remember people just be like, yeah, but it's all for Frisbee, so who cares? <laughs> it was like, damn, and dude, that's bananas tough. Is a good way to combat <sighs> spice. So maybe that'll help us out. If we were to stop the sandwich directly after adding this fruit, I think it would be okay. Salty meat and cheese go well with fruit. All right, let's roll wild magic again. Three ramen packet. So we have. You also have to understand, though, the reason why our ultimate prison team was so good is because we were known as a football school. Like, it was a sports school. Like, most people that went there were either extremely rich. Okay, so, like, the high society of the school was there was two classes of people. There was the rich kids and then the sports kids. That was the group I was a part of. I was part of the athlete kids. So the rich kids would throw parties all the time, and the and sports kids would go, and then they would invite people, you know, and then everybody had a good time. So there was like this relationship between the two groups. A couple people overlapped, but mostly. But it was very tough to be a part of that like really, really good at sports group. So people that didn't make it or weren't like top tier, um, who still went to the school for sports, who didn't make it, would go play other things. So, you know, at other schools, like Ultimate Frisbee, like wouldn't have like all their best athletes. But like we had what was considered at other schools almost like the best athletes at their school playing Ultimate Frisbee because they were still wanting to compete and stuff. You know what I mean? So it was like, the seasoning plus it was an all boys school. So like we had a lot more to pull from, you know what I mean? Like I get here from a, uh, pack a lot of more chances, at least for the male sports to have chicken ramen. Better athletes. This is if that great. makes sense. I'm so going to tell my grandkids. No this girls. Is it was all boys. Salt. If that makes any all right, sense. Now for our sauce roll filled with 19 different varieties of Melinda's hot sauces arranged from hottest to mildest. Can we dodge that spice bullet again? Let's find out. Three, ghost pepper ketchup. <laughs> All right, well, not only is it one of the spiciest things on the list, it's also ketchup. Hooray. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together, and let's get it flicked in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. I mean, it doesn't look bad. All right, so I don't know if I'm more worried about the ghost pepper ketchup or the ramen packet, honestly. So at least the ketchup is designed to be eaten that way. Either way, I'll have the antacids on standby. Ooh, smells angry. Oh, no. Let's see how it tastes. The Swiss makes you effy out of the ramen packet and the, the ghost pepper ketchup. You're worried about the Swiss cheese? Bruh. Well, immediately I'm hit with salt and chicken. Oh, there's the ketchup. Oh, yep. 
Whew, oh, that no. That is definitely hot. I am not accustomed to that kind of heat. I actually Dude, think his the banana forehead is, is helping. lighting up. Well, when you gamble, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. And sometimes you burn your tongue. Ultimately, though, I think the ramen packet was the worst part. I'm going to go with a 3.5 and I'm going to call it the Will O Wisp. All right, eat up, Earl. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to go take some Tums and I'll see you on Friday. Good afternoon, D&D. &D. Damn, dude. Let's go. TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Almost Today I'll caught be back using up. this sort of speckled stone looking set of dice that was sent to me by a viewer. Thank you. All right, let's get things started with our roll for bread. Three, Cheesecake Factory brown bread. This is a slightly... Yo, I haven't been to Cheesecake Factory in so long. I kind of want to go. I don't want to go by myself. Bread. You know, going by yourself just like, I don't know, feels kind of weird. You know? Made with brown sugar. And unless, you, unless you go like dress like semi-casual, like semi-professional, like, you know, like where it's like business casual and then bring like a la like a computer with you, like a laptop, then you look like you're busy. Then then it's like, okay. You know what I mean? Like you ever noticed? Like you ever noticed where it's like, oh, that guy's probably on lunch or he's like doing something else. It's like, ah, it's okay. You know, like that's that's not that's not too weird. You know what I mean? And it's Cheesecake Factory's. Go with Emong. Bro, Emong, one, getting Emong out of his house is literally a Herculean task. Two, it's not like it's down the street. It's it's a bit of a trip, you know? Iconic house roll. I guess they make it in sandwich bread, too. So that's what I'm trying today. All right, let's roll for our main. Doing work at a cheesecake factory? Yo, bro, I, I was just I was just saying as an example, you know, like, 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 like I used to do it at, like, Red Robin. And then nobody ever bothered me. You were always like, oh, that's normal, you know? But if you see people that are, like, sitting there by themselves and they're just, like, twiddling their thumbs, like, oh, that's a little different, you know? Two, chicken and ham paste. This prince's chicken huh? and ham paste was sent to me by a viewer in the UK. Bro, what are you guys eating over there? Seriously! I have no idea what I'm getting into here. Dude, you guys need help! What's going on on that fucking island? That looks... Interesting. What in the f am I looking at? This looks like someone put sand in a jar. Let's get it open here. Ooh, smells like spam. Spreads like butter. Gritty butter. On a grittiness scale from one to ten, I'm gonna have to go with the Philadelphia Flyers. Let's hope that the taste is better than the texture seems. All right, next up, let's roll for cheese. Three sharp cheddar. You know, it's probably good that I didn't get a more mild cheese. This way I have a chance at the cheese being the standout flavor. All right, let's roll our roughage. Seven pickled jalapenos and eight red onion. All right, coming in with some more strong flavors. I don't mind that. Again, these are tamed jalapenos, okay. so all of the flavor and less of the spice, which is just fine by me after last episode. And the red onions I have are left over from a meal kit subscription service that my family's been trying out. They're quick pickled and taste pretty good. All right, let's roll our wild magic. Chai, how many of you guys use a meal, a meal kit like that? Like the like the Instacart, not Instacart, like the HelloFresh, etc. 12 mustard Doritos. I have both the hot mustard and the ketchup flavored Doritos. Luckily, I missed the Wait. ketchup this time. I think the universe maybe said I Wait, don't the, have enough ketchup this are week. Are those good? These will add a nice crunch, and I'm a fan of mustard, so should be good. Well, last but not least, it's our D20 sauce roll. Here we go. 16 black garlic mayo. Black garlic is an aged garlic, and the aging process removes a lot of the initial bite, as well as giving it some caramelized notes. It's funny how this is like almost the same color as the bread. I feel like that paint matching guy on TikTok. Where's my rubber pig? All right, let's get our sandwich closed up here. Let's get that. No. Crunch. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. I'm kind of in. in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. All right, could be worse. Closing out another week of Roll for Sandwich with whatever this interesting thing is. <laughs> Let's give it a taste. The chicken thing might be... Oh, man, got so excited I forgot to take out the toothpick. Yeah, this is interesting. Flavor-wise, it's okay. Not too bad. But yeah, that chicken and ham paste is not texturally pleasant. Yeah, it Overall, ruins flavors it. flavors work together. Not an A+, but decent. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.1. And I'm going to call it the Molecular Gastronomy. Because we've got meat in the form of a paste and mustard in the form of chips. <laughs> all right. Well, now that the week's over, all that's left to do is to drink ketchup. Come support me in the live. I'm going to need as much. Oh, no. Is that what's next? Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond. And welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'll be using this tiny blue sparkly dice set that was sent to me by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get things going with our roll for bread. Four, potato bread. 
I got lucky leaving my potato bread soft last time, but I'm not going to take that risk twice in a row. I'm toasting it this time. All right, okay. let's roll for Maine. I'm going to try potato bread at some point. I feel like I haven't had Nine, it in a long time. chicken salad. This chicken salad consists of white okay. meat chicken. Chicken salad is delicious, but I hate when they put the fucking, um... I hate the ones that have, like, the, the bits of onion and, and uh... Wherever the the green shit is. I just want pure chicken salad that I can add my own shit to. I don't, I don't want your mixture. Celery, yeah. I don't want your mixture. I want chicken. You know, you can use mayo, that's fine. Enough to kind of keep it all as a salad. But the rest, I want to add on my own. Your mixture. Mayonnaise, celery, and... Because sometimes you just get, like, a mouthful of onion, or you get a mouthful of celery, or you get a mouthful of mayo, and it's like, bro, this is ass. Spices and seasonings. Pick this up from my local deli, even though I'm fully capable of making my own chicken salad. I'm a fan of chicken salad sandwiches. They can be a nice change of pace sometimes. You know All what's right, really good? Go Buffalo cheese. chicken salad. Fire. Five. It's bacon flavored cheese in a tube from Sweden. Jukost is Swedish for soft cheese. I've had a couple different varieties of this type of cheese on the show before, but now we have the bacon flavor. It's pretty tasty stuff on crackers. We'll see how it goes on a sandwich. Can't help thinking it looks like toothpaste sometimes, though. We've got a very white sandwich so far. White on white on white. Let's roll up that roughage. I feel like if the cheese is in a tube, you know? Three green onion and five cabbage. Just going to be using the green tops of the onion today. If you stick the bulbs that still have a little bit of root attached in a cup of water, they'll actually grow your onions right back. For the cabbage, Wait, we're really? working our way through our sweet and sour This guy's got cabbage. a... And green onion and farm it does going. Have notes of both of those flavors. It's definitely not anywhere near as intense as sweet and sour makes me think of. So overall, pretty that, mild so far. Tight. All right, let's hit it with a little chaos. Tiny Nat Twenty. All right, I get to pick. Today I'm going off menu and bringing back this pickle seasoning. I definitely think the dill pickle flavor will give this sandwich a boost, pickle which seasoning? I will happily okay. spend my Nat Twenty on. All right, last but not you least, grow onions. The Twenty sauce roll. Here oh, we go. Shit. 12, QB mayo. QB mayo right, is well, we definitely pretty good. We have quite a bit of mayo. I think Kane's but, mayo is uh, better, though. What's a little bit more? At least this will add a little bit of umami for something a little different. And there's way Let's too many people that QB mayo is like the best mayo of all time. I, I think it's good. It's There we go. Get I think Kane's mayo is better. It together. You know, you know. And let's get it cut in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. Well, it's not all white anymore. All right, chicken salad. Let's see how this is going to be. Let's taste it. I thought there was only one type of mayo. Not no. bad. No. I definitely think the pickle seasoning and the bacon cheese. Saved there, it from I, the there's actually a pretty big difference for me between the taste of like Hellman's and like Cane's mayo. They're like light years apart. Too bland. I'm glad I toasted the bread though for sure. Could have been a real soggy one. Do you really I'll... need a butcher glove to cut a sandwich? My guy, he gets hit by... TikTok policies all the time for like dangerous like shit because he's using a knife. So by using the glove, he has another argument towards saying like, "Hey, it's not dangerous. I'm using. I'm taking safety precautions." All in all, not I'll a bad a sandwich. Not mind blowing, but I eat it again. For this one, I think I'm gonna go with an eight point two, and I'm gonna call it mucho mayo. Thanks for joining me today on Roll for Sandwich. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you on Wednesday. All right, it's time. The cursed. Oh boy, chat. You might want to look away for this. Oh, wow. That's very thick. Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be so gross. On roll for sandwich. Six. Ah, ketchup. I really don't like ketchup. There are a lot of really bad uh, and really good things in the deck, but it's always a risk to pull something from it. Basically, it's the nuclear option for wild magic. If a food could be my nemesis, it would be ketchup. My hopes are not super high, especially with the addition of ketchup. Now, Satan's sauce, on the other hand, I'm not so sure. Having to drink a 16-ounce glass of ketchup. So... Man, I was really holding out hope till the end here. And I... I didn't. Yeah. It's really cool. So this is a lie. So Sorry, that was so quiet. It just—it is quiet. I can't do anything about it. Filling up our glass here. I did too. Uh, oh. Oh no. So I wanted this. Oh to be no. A challenge for me. 
Oh no, no. this card in like a few years. <laughs> nope, third time. Now I gotta, I gotta stick to it. So I like catch up, but this is. <sighs> Cheers. Oh my god, it's a big metal straw too, so it's wide. Oh. oh wow, that's very thick. It kind of tastes like a Bloody Mary. So that's what <laughs> I'm gonna just, you know, keep in my head. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Oh my god, dude. You... Oh my Thank god. You for the cake. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no! Starting to feel, starting to feel it. He's not even a. He's not even halfway. Oh no! I told you you might want to look away. I gave you a warning. Oh man, definitely starting to get heartburn. I don't feel like I'm gonna puke yet. Oh, what's coming? Oh, it's too much to chug. I'm Play gonna... ads instead, please. <laughs> oh. 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 Dude, the like the the residue on the oh, side of the glass, man. Oh, I have I have bad burps now. Oh no. Oh god. Honestly, I feel better than I thought I would. Oh, yeah, we can tell. <laughs> oh, hell no, that's so much worse. Gross. That might be worse. Stop! <laughs> no, please, please make it stop. I can't look away. It's like a train wreck. All oh, those. Dude, the fucking slurp, man. Oh, oh god. He fucking did it, though. He fucking did it. Ah, dude, I feel like that was harder for me to watch than him to do it. Oh. Yes, we 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 succeeded. Hooray! At what cost? <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. It was so much worse than I thought it was going to be. It was so much worse than I thought it was going to be. Holy f***. You'll never be able to look at ketchup the same way. Yo, real. Actually real. Holy shit. You know, maybe maybe playing Overwatch as a job really ain't that bad. You know? Maybe maybe I complain too much. Maybe I maybe I should be more thankful that I don't have to drink bottles of ketchup. You know, I I guess it could be worse. Good afternoon, D and D TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series. Don't jinx it, dude. What else could happen? We already lost PVE. Uh, we're. Or right, let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm going to be using these translucent blue, green, and purple dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get it started with our roll for bread. One, Uncrustables. If you're unfamiliar with Uncrustables, it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich ravioli. <laughs> Basically two slices of bread with the crust cut off, fused together. Pog. I have strawberry today, and we're putting two Pog. of these on the plate and gonna build a sandwich in between them. All right, next up, let's roll for our main. Six, salami. Round meat for our round bread. Salami and strawberry isn't a bad pairing. Uh, this is gonna ruin Uncrossables for me, isn't it? It's giving charcuterie. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Two, pepper jack. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the round slices of pepper jack, so square is going to have to do. But I'll add a nice little bite. What are you waiting for? Another piece of cheese? Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. I mean, roughage. 
six cucumber and seven pickled jalapenos. Don't call it a comeback, but cucumber returns. This seeming favorite of the dice will add a nice crunch. I'm okay with it. Then we'll get a little more spice and some tanginess from the pickled jalapenos. There are definitely worse options we could have rolled here. Definitely so could far, be I'm worse. Thinking everything's going to work okay together, but I guess we'll see about that. All right, let's get dangerous. Could be worse. 13, tahin. Honestly, this is pretty perfect. Tahin is great could on vegetables be worse. and fruit. And the chili and lime flavors should pull things together nicely here. All right, well, last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Eight, comeback sauce. Comeback sauce is originally from Jackson, Mississippi, and can best be described as a tangy sauce that combines elements of mayo and hot sauce. Let's get this bad boy closed. Closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together, and let's get it cut in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. Oh boy. Ooh, I really like the strata of this one. The sandwich between two grilled cheese sandwiches worked pretty well. Let's see how the sandwich between two peanut butter and jellies goes. Aww. I'm cautiously optimistic. Let's give it a taste. I don't think it's going to be that bad. So the peanut butter and spicy elements give a little bit of that kind of Thai sensation that I've gotten before in other sandwiches. And the tahini, strawberry, salami, jalapenos, they all go together in a nice bright combination of flavors. This is low key pretty good unexpected but welcome and this is why i put the weird elements on roll for sandwich is because you never know how things are going to turn out i'm going to give this sandwich an 8.9 and i'm going to call it the crustless cucumber comeback appreciate you hanging out with me today i hope you have a great rest of your day i'm not that surprised but that is high i didn't think it was going to be that high i thought it was going to be much lower than that but okay is there another one no okay we're caught up so that leaves us off on episode 154, Pog. Okay.